Well, today we will be painting an orchid. And if you're watching live, feel free to say hi in the chat box and let us know if you'll be painting this orchid with us or if you're just hanging out. Um, you can find the outline here in the description of this video as well as the reference photo that we'll be using. Um, hi, hi Joyce and Hannah is here too. Good morning, Camilla. Good morning. And Fallon is here. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me for this live tutorial. Okay, before we get started, I will go over the supplies that I'm using. I am using um, my Etcher sketchbook here. And I also plan on using my Pastel Dreams pan set from Art Philosophy. So I I hope to use this pink, like these pinks here and maybe um, the yellows I plan on using and then maybe this lilac rain color. And I also plan to use leaf green from Holbein, sap green from Daniel Smith, and I have Chinese white from Windsor Newton. So basically you need like a pink, some kind of green, um, and if you want, you can have like some kind of yellow or like white watercolor paint. All right, oh, and um, I plan on using my round, my, my size eight round brush from Zen Art, um, and my silver black velvet brushes my size four and size two round brushes. I, I might use these, I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> hi, Ashton. Yay, I'm glad you're here. She says, hi, I'm painting along this time. Yay. Kizzy is here. She says, good morning, Allison and everyone here. Okay, I'm going to move my camera a little closer for you guys. All right. So for the uh, orchid flowers, we will be using the wet and wet method, um, at least for the first layer. Hi, Shri Shriya. Hi, glad you're here. How are you? I'm good. Chatra is here. Hi, Chatra. Good morning. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to mix some colors up before we start the first layer. So if you look at the reference photo, um, you'll see that the orchid has like some kind of pink in it um, and it has some yellows and maybe even touches of green, but um, yeah, and it looks like maybe even some purple, but um, okay. I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint mine pink, um, but I think I will because I feel like it'll be really pretty. So I'm going to take this crimson, it's called crimson here from Pastel Stream Pan Set. Oh, by the way, um, all of the supplies are listed below in the description too for you guys. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so I'm gonna take that crimson here from the Pastel Dreams Pan Set and I'm just gonna add this to my palette with some water and get this ready. So when I use the wet and wet method, I, I like to first, you know, like get my colors ready so that it makes it easy um, to just drop in the colors. Because if I wet my area with water and then I have to like mix up my colors or whatever, then by the time I drop them in, they'll be like my, my wet area will be dry. So I like to get them ready to go. <clears throat> Okay, so I have some pink here ready, and now I'm, go I'm going to, cl I'm cleaning my brush right now, um, and then I'm grabbing some of this yellow. I think this is the Bumblebee from the Pastel Dreams set. Okay, and I'm going to add some here. Now, I, I like to use white watercolor paint um, because... It, it just helps me make more of like a pastel or like light colors. So I'm adding some of this white to the yellow because I kind of want the yellow to be lighter. I, I like this better sometimes than just adding water to my color. It just makes it more pastel as you can see. Okay. 
I think that's good. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, I have a yellow and a pink ready to go. And I think that's all that I will mix up for now. Um, Pinko, hi. Uh, Ma Mary says, good morning. Hi, Mary. Liz is here. Good morning. Claudia says, hi, Allison. Uh, help with painting a flower is definitely something I need. Not ready to paint along today, but I will attempt this next week. Yeah, um, I'm, <laughs> flowers are difficult for me. They're like one of the most difficult things for, for me to paint. So I, I hope these turn out. <laughs> I, I do want to improve my flowers. So, um, yeah, anyways, time to get started. So we'll first start with this main uh orchid flower here because this one is like the folk the focal point of the painting it's it's in the middle and um it's the one that we get to see the entire flower of so we'll start with that one and i'm going to apply or i'm going to wet my um my petals with my size four round brush and then I'll drop in paint with two other brushes. I like to work with multiple brushes at once. So one will have pink in it and the other will have yellow in it. So I'm going to go ahead um, and wet this size four round brush here with water, clean water. And I'm going to work one petal at a time. This will just make it easier um, instead of wetting the whole entire flower first. So I'm going to start with... Let's see, I think I'm gonna start start with this petal here. Okay, so I'm gonna wet the entire petal with water. And I'm realizing right now <laughs> that um, I, I am using a sketchbook and I don't have my my painting like, or my, my page taped down or like um, taped, so Hopefully it doesn't warp too much. I guess I can do that after I paint in this petal. But you may want to have your painting taped down on your desk or some kind of surface. Okay, so this whole entire petal is, is wet now. It does have like a hint of yellow in it because I guess my water isn't like completely clean. But it is what it is. <laughs> so um, I'm now going to take... One of my size eight round brushes here, okay? And I'm gonna dip it in my um, pink. And I'm just going to add some at the base of this petal. Like so. Um, and then I'm gonna take this other brush that I have with, and it's it's clean, it just has some water. And um, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of blend this up a little bit, kind of help, help it out a little bit. Um, yeah, okay. And then if you look at the reference photos, um, you'll see that there are some lines. So we'll add those in, but we wanna wait until the petal dries a little bit because if we add in those lines right now when it's like really wet, the lines will spread and it won't look like lines, but if we let it dry a little bit, then we can, um, yeah. I, I think you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna test it out. You might wanna wait until, like, and see how it looks on mine. Okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, it kind of spreads a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush here. It's clean, just a little bit of water, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, so let's wait a few more um, seconds here. In the meantime, I will go ahead and wet another area. Um, I think I, I'll wet this petal here. So I'm basically doing the same thing I did with the first petal. And 
I don't want to wet right next to this one here. I want to leave a little bit of white on my paper unpainted in between these two petals or else they'll kind of bleed together. Okay, so then I'm grabbing some pink with this other brush and I'm going to add some pink at the base right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this other um, brush here with just some water and I'll, I'll kind of help this out. Spread it a little bit more. Okay, so the petal we did first is probably dry enough to add in the lines that we see, but still kind of wet so that they spread slightly. So yeah, I'm just kind of now adding in those lines. I probably won't add every single line I see, just a little bit. And I'm using like the very tip of my brush. All right, I guess that looks okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is just the first layer. It'll look better later on. Pinko says, you are amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, that, that, <clears> that Vendra, I probably said your name wrong. I'm sorry. The Vendra says, hello. Hi. Okay. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing on this petal here. I'm going to add in some lines. Maybe? Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of uh, feed this out a little bit. Okay, let, let's wait um, another minute um, to add in those lines for that one. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and wet this petal. And again, I'm leaving a little bit of white in between this one and that one, but um, yeah because I don't want them to bleed together. This petal is still a little wet, so we want to be careful. Have you guys ever painted an orchid before? Let us know in the chat box or in the comments if you're um, watching the replay. I have not. <laughs> this is like my very first orchid. I've always wanted to paint an orchid so um yeah and I just never have until today so yeah okay so again I'm going to grab some pink and I'm gonna drop some at the base of the petal here and then I'm gonna take this other brush that I used to wet the petal. So it's clean, it just has a little bit of water in it and I'm gonna help out the blending. Okay, so this one here is probably now dry enough to add in those lines. I hope so. <laughs> okay. I, I will add in more detail in the petals um, when we paint the, sec the second layer. Okay, that, that one's a little too much. So if that happens to you, just take a brush that's clean. This one that I'm using has a touch of water in it and I'm just gonna kind of Drag this off and kind of blend it too. All right. Hi, Patty. How are you? Have you guys ever grown orchids? Like, do you have any orchid plants? I used to have some, um, but I, I, I really got into them 
and I tried to like learn about them, like how to take care of them well. Um, but then the roots like started to become unhealthy and I think I like just over watered them or something and they unfortunately did not make it. <laughs> So yeah, maybe I'll try again some other day, but that was like a few years ago that I had some. Okay. So I wetted that petal. Um, now it looks like these other petals have a little bit of uh, yellow in them. So I'm gonna take this other brush that's clean. It just has some water in it, like a little bit of water. I'm gonna take this yellow and I'm gonna drop some at the very like, very inner part here. And then I'm gonna take this other brush I have with some pink and also add in a little bit of pink. Not too much though. And then I am taking my brush that I used to wet the petal first and I'm just going to kind of work that blending slightly. Uh, Heather. Hi, Heather. She says, I have lots of orchids. Nice. <laughs> yeah, they're so beautiful. Um, I, I thought you might have orchids, Heather. I know how much you love flowers. Patty says, my neighbor raised orchids. He was a member of the Organ Society of San Diego. He raised them for decades, but then his age and health became an issue. That's really cool, uh, Patty, that he, he raised orchids. That's, yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I, I do want to add some um, lines here in this one petal right here. So I'm taking some pink. And I'm going to start with the one that's like in the middle. Hopefully it's still, hopefully it's not too wet. Okay, it is a little too wet. It's spreading too much. Okay, so I'll, I'll wait. I'll let that dry a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to wet now this petal here. So it looks like it starts all the way up here. Okay, but we want to be careful not to touch this petal. So we want to leave a little bit of our paper unpainted in between where we're painting and this petal here. So I'm writing all down here. Okay. Okay, that petal is wet and like this one, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. So I'm taking that yellow and I'm gonna add some all the way up here. And then I'm also gonna add some pink. Just a tiny little bit. And then I'm switching to my brush that I used to wet the petal first and just going to help out this blending here. Okay. So I'm taking this pink again. I'm going to try to paint in the um, lines again here. Okay. I'm like trying to use the very tip of my brush. <laughs> it's okay if it spreads a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take this brush that just has water in it. 
and kind of fix these lines. Okay. I, I know the orchid is not looking that great at the moment. This is like the ugly stage. So just bear with me here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Hannah says, I have a small orchid plant from, from my niece. The floor said to just give it one ice cube per week. They are easy to overwater. That's interesting. An ice cube every week. I Huh. Okay. All right, um, so now we are going to paint in, um, let's see, may maybe this part here. So this area looks like it has, you know, some pink, but also some yellow. So we're going to first apply the water Wet it with water first. By the way, I forgot to mention this. When I did my outline, I when I transferred my outline onto my paper here, I used watercolor pencil. I forgot to mention that. Okay, and then yeah, just be careful about this area because this petal here is still wet, so we wanna be careful not to have those two blend together. Um, and then at first I'm going to add in the yellow. So I'm taking some yellow here with my brush that I designated for yellow. And I'm gonna drop some in. And then I'm gonna take my brush that I used for the pink and drop that in basically everywhere. Okay. And then I'm taking my brush that just has water in it. It does not have too much water though. That, that's important because this area is, is like really wet so we don't want too much water. I'm just gonna kind of help these two colors out. Okay. That's pretty good for the first layer, um, for that petal. Uh, <laughs> hi, Michelle. I'm glad you're here. How are you? I I saw that you're doing um is it light lighthouses or is it like landscapes? I, I don't remember. I think I think I saw that on your Instagram. Um Mar Marana says good evening from A Azerbaijan. Um I'm sorry if I butchered that name. <laughs> good evening to you. Oh um, cool. Okay. Hi, Sarah. So, um, now let's go ahead. There, there's like a little like area right here that we should probably paint next. So it, it looks like, I don't really know the anatomy of orchids, so I don't know, but, um, it's like this little area here. And I'm going to take some pink now. And I'm just going to drop some at the base. And I've, I have a lot of water. So I'm taking my brush here that is somewhat dry. And then I'm going to soak some of this up because it does have a lot of water. And then I'm kind of working it a little bit more. Okay. Um... Hi, Annette. She says, hi. Sorry, I'm a little late. That's okay. Okay. Um, and then now, 
I'm taking my brush that just has water and I'm gonna wet this entire area. But if you look at the reference, um, there's some yellow in the middle and we don't really wanna wet that area. So wet around the area where it'll be yellow. It's, it's a good thing we're like painting the most difficult thing in this painting first, <laughs> which is this orchid flower right here. Um, yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to take some pink with my brush that I am using for the pink paint. I'm going to drop that in. Then my brush that I use for the yellow, taking some yellow, and I'm going to drop some yellow in. And then this brush here that just has water in it, just a little bit of water, going to blend a little bit more. work this area more. Okay. <laughs> Michelle says, happy to be here. Finally got a chance. <laughs> and then she says, yes, lighthouses. Um, is, is that with Procreate, Michelle? It looked like it was a uh, digital. Chatra says, sorry, I'm not writing, concentrating on my orchid. No, it's okay. <laughs> I know that most of you guys are um, concentrating on painting too. Okay, now I'm going to work this area here. So I'm going to wet all of this. I'm not worried about this petal. Um blending into this one here because it's dry now. So that's nice. And then I'm going to take my brush that I used for the pink, grab some pink, drop that in. Okay. Maybe it was still a little wet because now it's kind of seeping over here. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Now, um, let's wait until all of this is dry before we work that middle part, just to play it safe. Hi, Allison. Good morning. And yeah, Michelle says that, yeah, she's been working with Procreate, which is cool. All right. Okay, so these petals are dry up here. Um, but I think I'm going to wait to work on the second layer. I'm, I just want it to be fully dry first. So let's move on to this one down here. Okay, so this one will be way easier, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so I'm going to take this brush that I used to wet the petals. I'm going to start with this one. So I'm mining this entire petal here. Okay. Um, there we go. And then with my brush that I use for the pink paint, Actually, I might need to get some more paint. So I'm just adding some more pink here with water. Okay, I'm gonna start by adding some at the base. 
And then I'm going to take my brush that just has water in it and just kind of move this up a little bit. Okay. Then I am going to wet this entire petal over here. So how's the weather where you guys are at? Right now it's raining out. It's like a rainy day. I like painting on rainy days. I find it like really calming, listening to the rain and painting. Okay, I'm trying to be careful not to touch this petal because I don't want it to start seeping into, like these two seeping together. And in the reference photo, this one looks more white. So I don't know. I mean, we, we can add however much color we want. So I might add more pink than there is in the reference. And I'm taking this brush that just has water and I'm kind of blending this up. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this petal. But um, be careful not to have these two touch so I'm leaving a little bit of, of my paper unpainted in between these two. I can't wait for the second layer because I feel like my orchids are just not looking that great right now. That's just how the ugly stage is, right? You just have to push through. Okay, so that's wet. Now, if you look at the reference, there is a little bit of uh, yellow. So I'm grabbing some yellow with my brush that I use for the yellow paint. Drop, I'm dropping some of that in. And then I'm gonna drop in some pink with my other brush. And then I'm taking my brush, it just has water in it. And I'm just kind of working these colors more. Ashton says, we had severe thunderstorms all night last night and a tornado warning. My parents almost called us to wake us up because we were sound asleep during the whole thing, but thankfully it stayed north. Oh, wow, that is scary. I'm glad you guys were okay. Um, Michelle says, gotta go back to work. Bye everyone, enjoy your weekend, Allison, and talk with you Monday. You too, Michelle, have a nice weekend and a good day at work. Yeah, it, it stormed last night. Um, I think it might storm today, but right now it's just like raining. Okay, now I'm gonna work this petal that is behind the stem here. So you don't wanna paint or you don't wanna add water to that stem. So the top part and then the bottom part right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some yellow. 
drop a little bit of that in. And then pink. And then I'm taking my brush that just has water. Sarah says, painting is looking amazing. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, I, I'm glad you think it is because I, I, I feel like it's not, but. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm going to wet this petal that's back here. It's just kind of hiding behind all the other petals. And I'm trying not to add water in right next to this wet petal here, okay? So we don't want those these petals to blend together, so we need to be careful not to do that. And then I'm just gonna add some pink. And then take my brush that has a little bit of water in it, although it, like I, I really soaked it up on my paper towel. I don't want too much water. And I'm just kind of spreading this more Chapter says, I wish I can pause you. I'm still on the first one. It's okay. It's okay. The good thing about these is that you, you can always watch the replay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I I, I know. Oh yeah. Pian Pian Mom is PM PM Mom. I'm sorry, I'm probably saying your username wrong. <laughs> She's right. You you can chatra. You you can pause the lives. It's just that then you won't be watching it live. But um, yeah, that's true. I didn't even think of that. Okay. I am now going to work the second layer on this orchid here. Um, I, I just feel like once I have the second layer, I'll feel a lot better about this painting and then I'll move on to like other parts. So for the second layer, we will not be using the wet and wet method anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clean my brushes because I I don't really want my paint to dry in them because they're kind of drying. So I'm just cleaning my brushes, starting over. Okay, so the second layer, I'm hoping it'll be the last layer too. And basically when we add in the detail all the detail, you know. So um, I'm going to take my size 4 silver black velvet brush with some pink. Okay. And I'm going to have my, let's see, one of my other brushes to blend. So this brush my blending brush will just have some water in it. And I'm going to start on this petal here. So um, I'm first going to paint in those lines that we see using the very tip of my brush. Okay, and notice how I just painted like the middle part of the line. I didn't go all the way up or all the way down. I'm gonna take my blending brush with just water and I'm gonna blend this down a little bit. Let it fade and then up. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm not going to paint every single line I see either. You can if you want. Um, I like to keep things simple, <laughs> at least during like live streams. I, I mean, I, I can really go all out, but um, I don't want the live streams to be like five hours long or anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some more right here. And if, 
like while it's still kind of wet, you, you can also like drop in a little bit more if you want to. Okay, um, I might add some along the outer edge of my petal just because I, I want to. You know, so, sometimes it's nice not to like go right off of your reference. It's fun to um, do your own thing. So then I'm taking a blending brush here and blending downwards. it says I need coffee <laughs> I know how that feels it was so hard for me to get out of bed this morning like I did not want to get up I think I was in bed until almost eight this morning I was like okay I really should get up <laughs> I'm just adding some more detail at the base just because I want to then I'm dabbing my blending brush at this Okay, I might add more detail later, maybe with some of that lilac purple, but for now I'll move on to the other petals. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna move to this one here. And I'm gonna paint in the base a little bit. And then take my brush that just has water, my blending brush, and blend this out. Um, paint in those lines that we see. Notice how my lines aren't like perfectly straight either. They're curved, they, they go along with the contour of the petal. I'm paying close attention to how the lines are curved. Mary says, I admire all, I, I admire, um, all of you who can paint with Allison's live episodes. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I could go slower, but um, yeah, it would just be too long. Okay. And I might yeah, I might add some along here.
Hannah says, oh, that she needs coffee too. <laughs> and then she says, I want to be alert for this. Got up too early, went to bed late too. Oh man. Enjoy drawing with Mary says, hi Allison. So happy that I can make it. Your life started at the same time as my premiere. Oh, cool. I'm glad that, that you can make it too. Okay. I'm grabbing more pink and now I'm going to move on to this petal here and I'll, I'll add um, some pink here at the base and then take my blending brush, kind of blend this up As I work the second layer, I'm really trying to refine things because the first layer, you know, was a little, like, not that good. <laughs> it, it was like, you know, you know how the first layer is. So now this second layer, I'm really trying to refine things, make things look more, um, yeah, more detailed and better. Okay, this, I think I added a little too much. I'm gonna wipe some away. Okay, um, and then the, the lines start to like curve up a little bit. might add more detail. I don't know. We'll, we'll see where we're at later, but I might add more detail to this, to these petals. Yeah, I'm gonna add some pink along here. How are you guys doing? How's it going? Okay. Um, now I'm gonna work this puddle here. So if you look at the reference, you know, there, there is some pink. I'm gonna take my size, I mean some yellow. I'm gonna take my size two round brush. And I'm gonna grab some, I think it's the Bumblebee from the Pastel Dreams set. Add some more here. Okay. And I will add some pink. I keep calling this pink. Some yellow. <laughs> Back here, like so. And my brush that just has water in it. I am going to blend this out. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow. Okay, and 
and the reference there are spots. We'll add those in when this dries. And now I'm going to take my brush I was using for the pink and take some pink and paint in the lines that we see. Then I'll also kind of paint in the outer edge of this petal just to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this petal back here. So I'm grabbing some yellow with the brush that I was using for the yellow and I'm adding yellow all the way up here and then down. And then I'm taking my blending brush and I'm blending down this way. Chatra says, that she's forgetting to breathe. Chatra, you're okay. I know this is challenging. Like I, yeah, this is challenging for me. Like, I hope it turns out. I hope I'm not making a fool out of myself. <laughs> Being like, here guys, here's how to paint an orchid. Oh wait, I don't even know how to paint an orchid. <laughs> okay, um, now, I, I do want to add some pink lines, so I'm taking pink and adding a little bit. I guess I should have like practiced before doing this, but It'll turn out. It will. I'm trying to reassure myself. I feel like we do this often. I feel like I, I, I like, am always like, oh my gosh, I hope this turns out. And then it, it always does. You guys are probably like, oh, Allison, it will turn out. <laughs> okay. I'm being too confident. I need to Anyways, I'll let that dry and then I'll add in the spots up here too, like I will over here. Um, uh, Liz says, I gave up on orchid, but we'll finish later. I'm fixing my fox and worked on an antelope sky. Really happy with both now. Good. I'm glad, Liz. Um... Enjoy drawing with Mary says, this looks so delicate, Allison, like real petals. Good. I hope so. Thank you. Okay. Um, I do want to paint this middle part next and then we'll paint in the pink petals here. Okay. So I'm going to take my brush that I was using for yellow, but if you look at the reference, it looks more like an orange. So I think I'm going to take this Citrus. It's called citrus. Now it does have some green in it. I probably should wipe that off. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just kind of wiping off this green that's on my paint. Okay. So as you can see, it's, it's kind of like a, a golden color or like in between yellow and orange. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to paint that inner part, the very inner part where it's more orange than all the other areas. So it's like right here. I think. <laughs> okay, maybe I made this too big. It's fine. Alright, so there's that. I'll let that dry. Um my brush thank you thank you Mary for the encouragement <laughs> she says you got you got it, Allison thank you Liz says the beauty of orchids is they mix so well with imperfect watercolor let the color and water go you're right Liz you're right Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> okay. Um, now I'm going to work this petal here. Okay. So I'm going to take pink first. So I'm, I'm taking that uh, crimson from the Pastel Dreams pan set and I'm adding it here with some water. And I'm going to paint in the very middle area, okay? Like that. Just like that. And I'm going to take my brush, my blending brush. And I'm going to blend it this, this way. And this way. Hoping that um, the middle will be the darkest. Okay, and I'm gonna take some yellow with my brush that I was using for yellow. I'm gonna add some here. Now it is kind of blending in the pink, but that's okay. I, I kind of do want that. I'm gonna move the yellow up up here a little bit. Okay. And I would take my blending brush, work this a little bit more. Okay. Um, there. I'm, I'm just going to leave it like that, let it dry. We'll add more here soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, next. Yeah, this is hard, guys. This is a, not a beginner tutorial <laughs> at all. I'm sorry if you're having trouble. Um, I think I'm going to blend this yellow up here, too. Like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to take more pink. And... I'm gonna paint this in. I, I know I, I painted this area like not perfectly, like it does not look like the reference really, but it's fine. Um, I'm gonna blend this to the edge. That orange area is dry, at least I think it is. Okay. Um, 
gonna wipe a little bit of this pink off to give it some more depth. I don't want it to all just be one solid pink color. Okay, I'm taking more pink and I'm gonna paint in this area. And I think I'm just gonna paint with pink along here like that and then I'm gonna go in with my blending brush and blend this way. So my, my hope is that out here will be darker. Oh man, um, this is hard. <laughs> Shelly says, hi Allison and everyone here. I'm a little late to this beautiful tutorial. So happy I could join you live. I'm happy you're here, Shelly. Um, thank you, Annette. Uh, Eva, thank you. She says, that's looking so good. Travis, hi. They say, the difference from the reference is just our difference in expression. It's the best part. I love that. That's so, yeah, that's true. Okay, um, okay, yeah. <laughs> I think now I am going to add a little bit of pink here. Okay, and then to go in with my blending brush. Blend this. So that it's darker right here. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh man, okay. Is this dry? I think so. I'm going to add some more pink over here and blend. All right. Um, now I, I think I'll add some purple in areas. So I'm going to take this. It's called Lilac from the Pastel James Pansa. Lilac here. I'm going to take some of that. I'm just going to add a little bit of this to give the orchid more like variation because there it looks like there is some like some purple so I'm going to add some purple here and blend with my blending brush and same right here Okay, I might add some detail. With this purple. And I don't know 
know. I don't know if I like that purple in the lines. I'm going to kind of blend that out. So I guess I'm kind of adding purple where there's shadow. some purple in this pink. Ah, oh, green, that's okay. She says, oh no, I'm super late today. Um, Sarah says, beautiful orchid, Allison. Thank you, Sarah. That means a lot. Thank you. Okay. Now I, I think I'm going to add those spots that we see um, in, the, in the orchid, like the pink spots. We'll add those in. And then we'll move on to back, back to this one, and then we'll paint in the stem and these buds. So I'm going to take pink here with my size 2 round brush. And, okay, I'm gonna start in the very middle here. So it looks like there are some lines in this orange part, kind of like dip down and then dip back up a little bit, like so. And then there are spots on this one. Okay. And then some spots over here. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then looks like it's not really a spot, but it's kind of like a line like this. And then back here where, the, where it's yellow, there are some spots. Okay. Um, Yeah, I'm just kind of going along the outer edge of these petals here to add more pink. Just because I, I want to see you don't have to do this. Alright, um, I'm going to take my brush. It just has water. I blend a little bit here. Okay. I might I might go into some of these spots, maybe add some more pink spots or <laughs> but go back into these stripes and add some more pink in the areas. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm liking my orchids, but it's okay. As long as you guys like your orchids that you paint, that's all that I care about. 
To be honest, this is way harder than I thought it would be, you guys. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go into this one and this one. All right. Um, I think I'm almost done, at least for now. We're, we're going to move on to the other ones. Okay. I think it is time for the artist spotlight. What do you guys think? So let me turn my camera around. We'll take a quick minute break here for the artist spotlight okay so if you don't know if you're new here every um friday when i do a live watercolor tutorial i um have an artist spotlight and the way to get featured is if you use my hashtag allison lane art tutorial on instagram um when you like uh post your artwork from one of my tutorials so today it is Erica. I put her um, Instagram in the um, description of this video. So I'm trying to bring it up here for you guys. Erica. So here's Erica's Instagram. And she did my ladybug tutorial from last Friday. Isn't that pretty? She like added a flower with it. She, she is so sweet. She's like one of the sweetest uh, people I met. Um, she's so kind. She's She also um, is part of my membership, my Nature with Watercolor membership, which is what this is from. And, and she does beautiful pet portraits. Look at that, guys. Amazing. So if you wanted to support her on there on Instagram, you should definitely check out check it out and follow her and stuff. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, continue this orchid painting together. Are you guys ready? All right. I'm gonna set up my camera here. So give me like a second. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> um, Joy says the painting is really coming in together. I think we learn a lot watching you problem solve in real time. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys learn a lot. You, even with the painting that I'm just not really proud of, I, I'm glad you guys still learn from it. Um, Enjoy drawing with Mary says, I think that the most beautiful thing about art is that little detail that camera can't catch eat but every artist interprets in its own style and she says i i love hyper realistic art but why paint or draw something something that you can print out and looks the same as the reference photo yes i know right <laughs> yeah i love that it's so true um travis says just just how i think mary the way I see it, a photo is just a camera's interpretation anyway. We don't have to cling to it. Um, yeah, guys, isn't her art beautiful? Okay, let's move on to this one. This one will be way easier than this one. So let's, let's do it. Um, I'm first going to add the yellow, add yellow to it in area. So I'm going to take a clean brush here and grab some yellow. Okay. And I think I'm first going to add some like right here. And then take my blending brush, which just, it, it just has water in it. Um, I, I say that a lot because I don't want someone who's just joining not like realize that this brush I'm using, using right now does not have paint in it. Okay. 
And then there is a petal back here that I forgot to paint in, but I'll, I'll do that here soon. And I'm gonna add some yellow like right here and blend with just water. Back here. Okay, I might add some here too. Okay, and then I'm going to clean my brush and now I'm gonna um, add in some pink. I'll start uh, I think right here, then take my brush, my blending brush, and work this area more. Refine areas, blend. And I'm gonna add some pink here. Okay, um, <clears throat> did you guys know that the month of July is World Watercolor Month? Have you guys heard of that World Watercolor Month? It is, I think it's created by Doodle Dash. I think that's the name. Anyways, um, I'll probably share about it on my Instagram. But, um... I will be, for, for next Friday's live video, I will be doing whatever prompt is for that day. So World Watercolor Month, you get like prompts, like one prompt each day in July and you're supposed to like create an art piece from that prompt. I, I think that's how it works. Um, so yeah. That's, that's fun. I don't know if you guys knew about that, but, um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. I, I won't be doing every day, <laughs> just maybe a few days. I can't remember what the prompt is for next Friday. I, I think it's called, I, I think it's momentum or something. So I, I was thinking I'm painting something that has like wings because when, when I think of that word, I think of like flying or like, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> That's just what I think of. So, yeah, I'm going to paint in this petal back here that I forgot to earlier. Okay, um, yeah, I might not add very much detail to this one. 
Maybe I'll add some, like, it looks like there's, like, a line here, maybe. So I'll kind of paint that in. Create by SV says, hi. Hi there. I guess I'll paint in some like little lines like that but yeah this this orchid down here won't be as uh, detailed okay um, I might add a little bit more pink to match the intensity and in the pinks on this one Now, I, these two, like these petals here just kind of blend all together. I'm gonna add a lot of pink to this back one to really make this one here stand out more. And then same right here. I know that does not look like the reference, but that's the fun thing about making art is that you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Good enough for now. Um, Allison says, yay, I've been thinking about doing World Watercolor Month this year, but probably not every day because I have my grandkids for the month. It'll be fun. Yeah, I've, I haven't even heard of it until like a few weeks ago. <laughs> I, so yeah, I'm really excited about it too. Um, create by S visas. I am San Sankar from India. Well, it's good to meet you. Uh, Heather says, I am loving these soft colors. Allison, thank you, Heather. I'm glad. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I, I don't know if you know, but I'm using the, um, pastel dreams which I, I did link below for you guys. Okay, let's paint the buds and then we'll paint in the stem, the stems. Um, Chatra says, as usual, I drew an, ex an extra flower. <laughs> you, you, Chatra. Are you um, also adding in like a bird or, um, or like something like that or an insect? Okay, so for the buds, if you look at the reference photo, okay, it looks like they are green. So maybe I'll go ahead. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I think, I'm trying to think what I wanna do. I think I'll first paint them green a little bit and then add in some pink. So the green I'll be using is uh, leaf green from Holbein, which is one of my favorite greens, um, it's so beautiful. And I might also use sap green from Daniel Smith. So uh, I'm gonna take the leaf green here. I guess I can add some to my palette too. And 
enjoy drawing with Mary says, those paints look amazing. Yeah, they're, they're really pretty. I, I don't really use them too much, but I thought they would be perfect for the orchid, the orchids. All right, so I'm just kind of filling in some of this here. Now I'm gonna take another brush with some pink. I'm just gonna add some pink now. I don't wanna add too much because in case you don't know, these two colors, if they mix together too much, they'll kind of just muddy up. In fact, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this right now. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush and then kind of fill this in. I guess that looks fine. I don't want to blend too much though because I don't want these colors to make a brown or something. Okay, so that's the first layer, all right? And then I'm gonna kind of um, paint in the stem too, right here. All right, I'm gonna take more leaf green. I'm gonna go ahead and just paint this entire stem too. <laughs> Chatra says, oh no, no birds. <laughs> um, Mary says, I still have only 10 of my favorite colors in, in palette. Definitely need to get some of those pastel colors. Uh, Allison says to Chatra, I love all, all your birds. Yeah, Chatra, your birds are just amazing. Okay, um, I'm painting this in here, and again, I am, okay, only painting in some of this bud, and then I'm going to grab some pink, add in a little bit of pink. And then carefully blend these together. Okay, cleaning my brush. And I'm gonna take some more of that leaf green. Okay, I don't, I really need to be careful. I don't wanna muddy this up. Okay, I'll just leave that like that. And taking leaf green again. And some pink. Okay. Now I'm going to paint in the stem down here with the leaf green. Alyssa says, I'm loving the orchids so far. So pretty. Amaz amazingly enough, I don't have 
that pan set. Really, Allison? I can't believe you don't. Allison, guys, Allison Evans has so much paint. Like, basically any any paint you can think of, any watercolor paint she has. <laughs> but she doesn't have this set. That is so funny. Um, Chat Chara says, why not? Maybe a peacock to keep true to the challenge. <laughs> a peacock would be so challenging. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. I'm painting this down here. Like so. Okay. Uh, Mary says, I usually use Senly and Van Gogh, and I think they are pretty good. Yeah, I I haven't used Van Gogh before. I've heard a lot about that. Erica, Erica is here now, guys. Erica, we, we just did the artist spotlight, and it, it was you, so you missed it. <laughs> But yeah, Erica. Um, anyways, enjoy drawing with Mary says, oh yeah, to, to Erica, hello. Um, st stunner. Hello, Allison, can you remember me? I, I, don't, I don't think I remember your username. Anyways, um, now let's, Go back up here to these buds. I think they're dry. At least this one is. And let's add some detail. So this time I'm going to mix a darker green. And basically I'll just mix sap green here from Daniel Smith into this leaf green. Let's make it a little darker. And... I'll first add some right here and then basically on one side of the stem, okay? And then I'm going to go in with a brush that just has water and blend, blend this into that lighter green. At least I'm trying to do that. <laughs> okay. There. Um, okay, and then it looks like this kind of goes like this. Okay. And then there are some, some lines like here, here. I'm gonna blend basically one side all the way to the end like that. And then same over here. here. Oh, this is quite the challenge, guys. This painting is. I'm going to make the stem here a little bigger. I feel like it looks a little off. And then I'm going to add some dark green to this edge. Okay. 
And then while it's still wet, I'm gonna add some more dark green here. Oops, I just, I just hit my brush on the camera. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. So there's that bud. At least for, for now, it looks good enough. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, you guys are so kind. All right, um, so this one's a little weird. This here, right here is part of the, the main stem right here. And then another one kind of grows out. Okay, um, and then this is such a challenging painting. I want to draw in the line here like that. <laughs> okay, and then there's like mm, another line, maybe like right here. And then I'm gonna kind of paint on the outer part too. Okay, I need to mix more of that darker green. I'm gonna paint in this top stem on one side with the dark green and then kind of around that bud, go in with my blending brush. And then paint in those lines that I see. Okay. How are you guys doing with the orchid? Where are you at? I'm almost done, guys. It's exciting. Here, 
Now at this stage of the painting, you, you can just kind of see where else you'd like to add detail, um, what else you need to add. I feel like I could definitely add more maybe, but let's see. I'm not sure if I, if I want to actually, cause I, I just kind of like how it looks already. Um, Hannah says, let's paint a simple flower, she said. Orchids, that would be easy, she said. Just kidding, not easy. <laughs> but I think we are all going to love them when we are done. <laughs> oh my gosh, isn't that the truth? Oh yeah, one orchid. Like when, when I planned out this live stream, this live tutorial, I was like, okay, one orchid, just one, and it'll be fun and easy. And then I went to plan out the outline and I did the outline and then I'm like, okay, I'll add another one here. Okay. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll add some buds too. That'll look nice. And then now it's like, <laughs> it turned out to be quite the challenge. Anyways, uh, Thank you guys, you're so sweet. Thank you, Hannah, Liz, and Mary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Chatra, we wanna see that peacock, okay? <laughs> All right, I'll give you a close up. Yeah, I, I know it's not like the perfect orchid painting, but for my first time painting orchids, I mean, come on, I feel like this is okay. So, yeah. Ah, oh, thank you guys. Heather says, I would buy this orchid if I saw it at the store. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Patty says, I really like my orchid. Allison, you rock. You did a fantastic job. Thank you. I'm I'm so glad you, you like your orchid, Patty. That, that just makes me so happy. Um, Hannah says, I think it's perfect, Allison. Your composition is well balanced too. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. May I mean, maybe I'll work a little bit more on it later, but I might not either. So it's fine. It looks good. It looks okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Don't forget to use my hashtag if you post your orchid on Instagram, Allison Lane Art Tutorial, and tag me so I can see it. Um, and you, you guys can also connect with each other through that hashtag and see like everyone's artwork and, um, stuff like that. And I feel like I was going to say something. Um, I will be going live next Friday. So if you're new here, I go live every Friday at 10 a.m. EST. Uh, I think that's all I was going to say. I feel like I was going to say something else, but, um, I hope that you guys have a great weekend. Um, <laughs> Allison says it looks better than okay. <laughs> um, on Tuesday, I will be coming out with a new video where I show you guys all of my watercolor pan sets. And I, I like, yeah, I, I have a lot. So um, that, that'll be really fun. So you can look out for that video on Tuesday. Thank you, Grain. She says, you look really pretty today. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this Friday. It was so much fun. Um, I hope they ha that you have a great weekend. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting my channel. It means a lot. Um, a few days ago, we reached 8,000 subscribers, and I'm just so... So grateful um, and I, I couldn't do it without you guys seriously so I just want to thank you for that um, and yeah take care have a great weekend be safe I appreciate you
Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Mary, Sarah, Allison, Green, Chatra, um, Joyce, Travis, Hannah, Heather, Patty, who else? Liz, Erica. Bye, guys. Take care. See you later.